Hello everybody, I am Sammy15 the Dragon Tamer, and um, just let you guys know this is the second, my first turn. Um, Puka just faced this deck earlier tonight, actually just right now. So, um, let's see, I'm going to face the guy who, uh, who lost to Puka, but let's see if we can get a win here. Ugh. And I really can't do anything else, so I'm just going to pass. Ugh, this. Yes, no hammers. Ugh. I hate hammers. Sweet old tails. Ah, heads. Maybe passes. I would like to get another Keldeo out. Oh, this freaking... This just stinks. Cancel. I'm just gonna... Hmm. I do not want to get rid of the Blastoise, but... Oh well. Uh, let's see, my strategy for the most part is just kind of trying to wither down my opponent at this point. Just double rush, in, double rush into death. I think that's my strategy at this point, to be honest. Uh, I don't want to attack just yet because of stupid Rocky Helmet. I mean, that's pretty much the only reason why I'm just hesitating. I mean, I guess I could just attack right now, but... I want to hold off. His lasers are pretty much ineffective, ineffective against my deck because it relies on him just shutting down. I mean, eventually it will work, but I just keep on playing just using Rush In and Keldeo as much as I possibly can, and I'm just simply dead drawing. This dead draw. I hate this dead draw, but at least I can just run double rush in. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I pretty much have a good matchup simply because I can just double rush into double rush in into death, you know? Uh Puga was facing this deck with a Charizard deck, so he had a lot more difficulty. Personally I think Puka should have just like combustion blast him to death with every other turn. I mean that's what I would have done, but Puga is better than me anyway, so I guess he knows what he's doing. I, I, this is a good matchup for me, but I'm just dead drawing, so... Yeah. That's... that's fun. Ah, oh, yes! Water energy. Sweet water energy. <laughs> I was a little thirsty. Uh, here we go. I almost don't need Blast Choice with this deck, honestly. There's my Electrode. I almost don't need Blast Choice, but I still kinda do. Because eventually this poison damage will, will just eventually wear me down. I mean, basically, sure, Double Rush just kind of destroys him, and I almost don't, and I kind of don't need Blastoise. 
I mean, I would like to have Blessed Wish sometime in the future, but that's not a necessity at this point. Like, I can just do this all day. I honestly can just rush double rush in just a million times and win. But he's being annoying. Ah, fan club. Apparently he prize with a small axe. Yeah, he prize with a small axe. That sucks. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I want Have fun at the beach. I pretty much just send my opponent to the beach and telling him to have fun. I don't want to get rid of my glasses or my superior energy people, even though I kind of don't need them. Uh, and what really helped me, I can probably get rid of an Ultra Ball and a uh, superior energy people. I actually kind of need to do it at this point simply because of the fact that he will be knocking me out. Actually, no, wait. Poison damage. Derp. Derp, derp. <sighs> um. I'm gonna get like two lightning because I will not need uh, Kirim in this matchup at all. Don't need those. They're just kind of irrelevant. Kirim is kind of for uh, bench decoration at this point. Don't need those lightning. Um, I'm gonna rush double wish in just mostly for the sake of doing it. <laughs> Because the poison damage will add up eventually. I am kind of nervous about that. So I still no choice. Uh, lack of blast risk is killing me. I'm hating this uh, lack of blast voice, I'll be honest. Uh, great. Oh, yeah, I can just double run. rush him again. GG. Yeah, it was kind of a quick match, but, you know, I just kind of happened to run in this guy. I was kind of watching Puka at the same time, so I just kind of, even though it was kind of quick, I'm still going to upload this just because Puka did it, and Puka's um, pretty much god in Pokemon terms, well, when it comes to Pokemon TCG online. So, I'm just going to show the vi another video of Puka, of the deck that Puka faced, Quad Snorlax. It's not a very good deck, simply because of, uh, it auto-loses to Virizion, and pretty much all loses to, uh, Double Kill Dio and Blastoise. But against other decks, you know, not being a retreat just brutal. You know, that's why Dry Glage is not a bad idea. Just kill you and Ruizing just ruin Dry Glage. Once those two things rotate on the format, which should be in a few years, <laughs> uh, this deck will probably be significantly better. I honestly think that not being a retreat will maybe be a tier deck. I honestly think that eventually. Unless like something like Kill or Ruizing is continuing to release and there is Slurpuff. So, there's that, but I still think this deck has potential, this squad's not like that, so thank you everybody and have a nice